Driver under arrest, motives still not revealed. Meantime, incendiary devices have apparently been planted throughout Minneapolis, sparking fires. Another curfew in place there tonight, with the governor urging everyone to please stay home. In Philadelphia, they're trying to prevent further violence, destruction, and arrests as more people take to the streets again. In Baton Rouge, Louisiana, hundreds gathered outside the Capitol building, expressing their outrage with police brutality. Numerous people stood on the sidewalks of downtown Boston, holding up signs demanding justice for Floyd in Massachusetts. I love this community. I'm here to stay in this community. Many people in West Palm Beach marched on the side of the road, demonstrating with signs in that Florida city that read, I can't breathe and stop killing black people. At least one demonstrator in Charleston, South Carolina, tackled to the ground and arrested by police officers. Dozens of people got together to kneel down, pray and sing at a protest in New Orleans. Several people protested in New York City while NYPD officers stood in line near the demonstration. Hundreds and possibly thousands of protesters filled the streets of downtown Miami to protest the death of Floyd and call for major changes to be made to the criminal justice system. I have to be here because you know what? My brothers and sisters are in America fighting the fight and we've got to show them that it's just not an American problem. And across the pond, the crowd marched in London from Trafalgar Square, past Parliament, and across the River Thames. They carried banners and signs that chanted Floyd's name. I'm tired of this constant narrative that black people are acceptable, acceptable for them to just be killed so innocently. I'm tired of waking up every day and seeing another black person dead. Demonstrators were breaking coronavirus lockdown measures by gathering. Police said they made five arrests outside of the embassy, three for violations of the coronavirus lockdown guidelines, and two for assault on police in London. Okay, now forgive me, I, I'm technically a little uncoordinated here, but I'm gonna try this for you. And there's a method to my madness, so follow me. I'm gonna push play. So what you're looking at, and you can go ahead and you can look this up yourself. This is a demonstration in Denver today. Thousands upon thousands of people outside of the state capitol on their backs saying, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, for nine minutes, nine minutes the length of time that George Floyd laid on the ground in Minneapolis. So why am I bringing this to your attention? Well, because LeBron James asked us to, and to quote his treat, tweet, media, are you showing this? I bet you're not. You know why, because this is unity, peaceful, beautiful, and love. So King James, we are sharing this with our viewers, what was a beautiful scene in Denver. And as we want to make clear, there were so many who set out in Los Angeles and different communities of Los Angeles this, week, this weekend with the very best of intentions to have peaceful protests and to be out there for only good reasons and with only the best intentions. Let's go back to you. Robert, he should know we're trying to show it all, both sides, the peaceful protest and uh, the lawlessness as well. I think, left. Colleen, as I should let you know, and this was just told to me a few minutes ago, and this is relevant to what we saw nationally, Bill de Blasio's daughter, de Blasio is the mayor of New York of New City. York. His daughter was arrested last night, was one of the protesters in New York City. So the NYPD didn't discriminate there. Who they arrested, they arrested, and that included the mayor's daughter. And I wanted to add, when you were talking about Washington, D.C., and showing those fires there, there is a curfew in effect there from 11 to 6 in the morning, and they've actually activated the National Guard as well. Activated the National right. Guard, and, and when you look at these pictures at Nationwide, it's important to keep in mind, even with something as unprecedented as 10 million people that we have here in Los Angeles County being under curfew, all those cities we showed you are under curfew at different times, some of them a little later than 8 p.m. where they're located, but those are cities all under curfew, and in those cases, in many of those cases, the curfews just aren't holding. Fingers crossed it will throughout Los Angeles tonight. All right, Robert, thank you for that. We'll get back to you when, uh, when 
you have some more information, but uh, let's go up topside to use Chapel Four Bravo. Gil, it looks like you were covering or following a caravan of uh, squad cars. Yeah, Colleen, we're watching a, a huge line of squad cars rolling southbound on the 110 freeway right now, passing the Coliseum, and we're following them southbound. We're hearing of more issues down in Long Beach, so we're diverting there. We were en route to Santa Monica when we saw this huge line right now. They're under the under the overpass right now, but there's a huge response here by the, I, I believe this is LAPD that's sending units southbound. We did see also uh, a group of vehicles uh, that were heading south by freeway as well. So uh, there's a uh, there's a chance that they were deploying to Long Beach. It's unclear though at this point what exactly they're responding to, but we are en route to Long Beach right now to check on the issues there.